Welcome to Dorista. I'm Kino Gree, and today I'm at Avatar Museum 3, trying on three avatars that delight me. I'll see if any of them are something I want to purchase. Let's show! This is Suo, made by Niji no Craft. Do you think we could make a cute couple? Well, too bad. I'm the only one here to try it on. So, here we go. The things that stand out to me about me, you know. Forget that one. I think this is a cute avatar. The things that stand out to me about it are first the fashion. I like this kind of um, short trousers and then a vest and that old European fashion that Japanese people seem to emulate so well. And it has other neat features. It has these interesting mechanical components like this clock, these headphones, and the backpack, which is this weird device. I don't really know what it does, but it gets my head ticking. So it also has a nice range of expressions. As for features, there are some interesting things. I can pick the color of my face. It can be purple, black, red, or pink interesting makeup style or if I'm feeling in a mood. I also have a book. I don't seem to be able to write in it, but it is a nice addition. And one thing that's really interesting is if you notice when I get close, my eyes don't track like often avatars do, but there's a picture mode so I can turn it on. Overall, I like this, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for today, so let's move on. This tall lady is Anahi, made by Bakenzi. She's a space explorer, it looks like. And I'm a space explorer, so I want to see how humans explore space. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, helmets are an interesting touch. Let's just open that up and breathe a little more easily. This avatar is a little less complicated than the last one as far as features go. I can put my boots on. I can put my jacket on, and I can take my helmet off. It has the normal range of expressions and good lip syncing, but what really gets me about this avatar is that it stirs up my imagination. Who is Anahi? Where does she live? How does she travel around on space? I like thinking about these sorts of things, but it's not what I'm looking for today, so I shall move on. This is Watage, made no. This is Mia, made by Watage Kobo. There's something about her button eyes that calls to me, so let's try her on. So, she doesn't really have anything going on on the action wheel like the other avatars. Everything is built in as it should be. Skirt moves as the skirt should move, doesn't it? And, hair moves like it should with good dynamic bones. So does the little ears on my headband. And this little guy is going to get me into all sorts of trouble. I'm pretty sure. And on top of that, I have super cute Giza Giza Bus style teeth. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty much what I'm looking for today. So much so, in fact, that I've already purchased this one. Which is why it doesn't have any sample marks anywhere on it. So, mission success! So, today, we only saw very few of the avatars. There are over 200 avatars in more than 50 rooms here. There are humanoid, mechanoid, and even non-humanoid avatars. There's probably something for, ever for everyone, and they're all very well made. So, if you're looking for an avatar, then come down here and check it out. Oh man, you're gonna get me into all sorts of trouble. What are you doing? No, 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 no! Spit it out! No, drop it! Cut! No! Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel! See you in next video!